Good morning and welcome to the Platinum Plus service, the full auto trader that we have here. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I am trying to accomplish and a little bit about the service itself in general, um, as far as expectations and, you know, to get an idea of what you're actually looking at. Now, I know people want to ride the dragon and they want to use all kinds of leverage and whatnot, but here's what those people look like to me and what they usually end up doing to themselves and, you know, whatnot. They have a good fun ride and then some some point they blow their accounts. And when I really look at the charts, you know, I see this right here and it's just like, what's the point? You know, are you trying to grow your capital or are you trying to just, you know, go to Vegas if that's what you want? So we're not using extremely high le bit, you know, amounts of leverage in this and I'm not going to be doing that with this, just so you know. And I understand that I've turned one Bitcoin to like 110 and whatnot, but that's one Bitcoin. When I have to trade hundreds of Bitcoins and uh, I, my um, volume is showing up on BitMEX, there are going to be market makers and other traders trading against me or have running orders and so forth. So keep that in mind. Uh, I'm looking for real expectations, let's say, in the very low end, things don't work out. And again, let me just preface this with the fact that I can't predict the future. And we can have losses. We could have m much higher gains than what I project. So, you know, there's, uh, you know, I'll just give you projections that I'm comfortable with. 30 to 60% would be the low end. That's if things are bad, like the market stays within two to 4,000 for a long period of time or, or just has very low volatility. And the average, um, the average end, I would say above 100%. With the volatility historically in Bitcoin, 100% would be the median, uh, what I would say, and above. Uh, and then with very good volatility, like what you experienced back in towards the uh, the end of, uh, uh, what is it, um, November and December, or even January, um, and all throughout their early uh, 2018, I would say that was high volatility. You can get above 300%. Um, but again, I can't project or predict uh, the future. And I'm not a fortune teller. And um, historically, with the, the high volatility in Bitcoin, um, you know, we have great opportunities. There's also extreme upside in the marketplace right now. Um, this low reduction, what people don't realize that every time Bitcoin has a, a pullback from the 80 to 90% range. That's usually a bottoming before it goes over and retraces. At the minimum, I would say that would be 61.8 on the upside, which puts us in the middle of the 7,000 range. So there's a lot of upside on a percentage basis that is probably not factored in that could be to our benefit. So keep that in mind as well. And that could put profits in ridiculous amounts that I'm not going to even discuss, but that's there as well. Now here's an account that goes from 1x leverage and as high as 2 and that's the highest I would go on this and you can see it steadily increasing over time and we've had stable solid profits just that just grow. Um, of course everything in BitMEX is in Bitcoin so it doesn't account for the value of Bitcoin dropping by half, right? So even uh, though, uh, but still it shows the steady incline of price over time. And that's what we're looking to achieve here. And a stable, steady equity curve that goes upward over time. Now, of course, now if Bitcoin goes back above six or 7,000, then the numbers change and skew goes higher and then your returns are exponential in nature. Um, but you know my accuracy. You've seen the charts that I produce and the low amount of risk. And I could use much higher amounts of leverage, but I always have to respect the market and say to myself, there's always that time where it could go massively against me. And I prepare for negative shocked events, we, what we call uh, Six Sigma events. Um, and I calculate them ahead of time. Most people don't. Um, and when those days come, 
they blow their accounts and these great traders and these rock and rollers who think they're really great um, one day you know they spend a year or a few years worth of work and one day they wake up and they got nothing I'm not gonna I, I, I'm not that type of person I've seen too many market events and I do not wish to get caught in such things and I will balance things out in probabilities and make very good decisions um, as we can see you know we have scenarios that can occur here's the one that we're likely in but there's no guarantee what you see in the charts today we could fail right in the under 4,000 range and you know everybody's happy right now and bullish and whatnot and then BAM we could go smoking right down to the 2,000 range so you have to keep that out in present in your mind as risk and I'm a good risk manager. I look at the total picture. I am a good general. I survey the whole battlefield. And, you know, tactics, I, of course I use algorithms and uh, tools that um, are technically available to me strategically and tactically. Um, you know, whether it be that, you know, indicators or my algorithms, which, you know, I use them to go over and give me an idea of what's in the marketplace. And uh, they're just tools, they're indicators, all they do is they indicate and then from there with the combinatorial values I put it all together and come up with you know the the numbers that I do and you've seen the, the accuracy. But for expectations on a yearly basis, the low end I would say 30 to 60 percent if things are bad, the average I'd say a hundred plus percent and above average uh, if things do very well than over 300 and plus percent on a yearly basis ROI wise and profits are not guaranteed and there's always a risk of loss in trading and you know and people should be aware uh, as good as I am um, there's always that that probability that small risk and it might be small over time but it's there so do keep that in mind and you're going to see, you know, the actual results, because I'm going to be very transparent. You're going to see my actual account results that with accounts connected to this and see live account results. That's something I like doing, and I'm going to definitely push for that. Um, so that, that's basically it. Those are the expectations that I, you know, with the kind of leverage, the low leverage that I use. And, um, you know, um, you know, this video is way too effing long. Oh my God. It's like 40 minutes, but <laughs> I, I chopped it up. Luckily there's other parts like the type of indicators and algos and how I use them that I put into this video. <laughs> I'm out of my freaking mind. Um, but you'll find that entertaining and I'll, I'll release bit by bit, you know, each piece of that one for algorithms, my indicators, how I calculate risk and, and money management. So you'll there's there's multiple parts to this. But anyway, I'm gonna leave that this part of the video for just the expectations and then slowly release the other parts. <laughs> so for your enjoyment. Other than that, have a great day and I'll see you guys later.